Hi, now what we have here is a typical example where we need to simplify a couple of algebraic fractions. So you might like to pause the video at this stage and just have a go at this and then come back and uh, check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing I'd want to do is just copy out the question. So we've got to express 2 over 3x plus 2 all over 9x squared minus 4 and then minus 2 over 3x plus 1 as a single fraction in its simplest form. Now I notice that in this denominator here we've got something that can be factorized. We've got what is called the difference of two squares. The difference being the minus and here 9x squared is the square of 3x and 4 is the square of 2. So what we can say is that this is identical to, and you should really use an identical sign by the way rather than an equals. And we've got on the top here 2 bracket 3x plus 2 but underneath here this factorizes as I said earlier to what we call the difference of two squares that is 3x minus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 2 obviously you can have it as 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2 it's not going to make any difference then we've got this fraction here nothing in that fraction seems to factorize so we'll just leave it as 2 over 3x plus 1. Now with this fraction I can now cancel some common factors. I've got the factor 3x plus 2 on the top and 3x plus 2 on the bottom there. My next step is to write underneath this identical to and we've got the first fraction here which is 2 over 3x minus 2. I'll put that in brackets there. And we've got the other fraction minus 2 over 3x plus 1. And again I'll actually put that one in brackets. Now to subtract or even add two fractions they've got to have the same denominator and as you can see they don't in this example here. What we need to do is to put them over that same denominator and since I've got a 3x plus 1 here and a 3x minus 2 here then that denominator is going to have to be 3x minus 2 and 3x plus 1. So what I need to do is times top and bottom here by 3x plus 1 over 3x plus 1. Timesing top and bottom by exactly the same value is like multiplying this fraction here by 1. So obviously it's not going to change the value of it, it will just change the appearance of it. And similarly for this one, as long as we times by 1 we won't change the value of it. But if we times top and bottom by 3x minus 2 over the 3x minus 2, we're multiplying by 1 but we actually get two fractions which will now share the same common denominator. So when we clean this up, just put this all over that one denominator now, 3x minus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 1. And what you're going to have on the top here is 2 multiplied by the 3x plus 1. And then here we've got minus 2 multiplied by the 3x minus 2. Now in practice generally you must probably find that you can go from this line straight the way to this line here. But I leave it up to you to just take it at whatever pace that you feel happier with. Okay now next I can see that if I expand these two brackets out that we'll be able to group some terms together. So expanding the top line out is going to give me 6x plus 2 and then here we've got minus 6x and then we've got plus 4 and that's all over that denominator there of 3x minus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 1 and the top 
simplifies because we've got 6x take 6x which is 0 2 add 4 which is 6 so you end up with 6 then all over 3x minus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 1 and there you go simplified